again guys, my name is Manu and I'm the head of the ReactJS department at Creative Team. This is part 2 of ReactJS 2018 with Webpack 4, Bubble 7 and Material Design. In this part, we are going to add React and Bubble to our new app. So let's get started. Let's start adding all the Webpack packages that we are going to need. We are going to install them as dev dependencies since they will only be used in development mode. So let's go ahead and write npm install save dev webpack webpack cli webpack dev server webpack is going to be used to configure our new app webpack cli is going to be used so that we can use webpack in the command line webpack dev server is going to be used so that when we make changes to a file inside our new app we won't need to refresh the page it is going to refresh the browser page automatically every time we change a file in our app. If we take a look inside the package.json file, we are going to see that these three packages were added to the file like so. I'm going to go ahead and delete all the carrots from each version since I can't tell whether the next version of these plugins is still going to work with what I am building and I think this is something that should be common sense. When creating a new app, use the available versions and then maybe Make some updates to newer versions because you might not know what will a new version break into your app. As you will see, the installation of these plugins made some changes to our project folder. It added node modules folder and a package lock JSON file to it. Now we need to add a new file to our project, the config file for Webpack, which is going to be called webpack.config.js. So let's go ahead and write touch webpack config.js. Before we go ahead and start messing with the webpack config file, let's first install some stuff that we are going to need in our app. First of all, we are going to work with some paths inside the webpack config file, so let's install path in our project as a dev dependencies. So we are going to write npm install save dev path. Also, since we don't want to manually inject the index.js file inside the HTML one, we are going to need a plugin called HTML Webpack plugin which will basically inject the index.js inside the HTML file without any manual operation. Let's write npm install save dev HTML Webpack plugin. Once again I'm going to edit my package.json file and delete all the caret occurrences from it. One more edit that we are going to make to our package.json is to add some new scripts inside the script object. So let's go ahead and write webpack should refer to webpack start should refer to webpack dev server and it should also open the default browser with our server. Let's go ahead and run these commands one by one and see what happens. npm run webpack. Webpack will automatically take the source index.js file, compile it and output it inside the dist folder main.js file and will minify that code and this is because we haven't yet configured the webpack config file. Also, since we haven't configured the file, we are going to have some warnings in our console. If we run the other command npm start, webpack dev server will automatically start a server and open the default browser with this server. But once again, since we do not have configured our webpack config.js file, the output will not be the expected one. Let's go ahead and press Ctrl and C keyboards to stop the server. Let's add the following inside our webpack config file. const path equal require path. const html webpack plugin require html webpack plugin. module exports equal to an object. In this object, we are going to configure what webpack should do. Entry of our app is going to be pet.join dear name and dear name stands for the root of the project folder src index.js. So we want the entry point to be index.js from the source folder. Output is going to be path path.join dear name build folder. And the file name should be index.bundle.js. The mode of the output is going to be process.env.node.env or development. 
So either is going to be development, either something set by us in a .env file or inside package.json. Resolve. This will allow us to import stuff from the source folder and node modules without absolute paths. So let's go ahead and write modules, path.resolve, dear name, src, and node modules. Dev server is going to be our server. And we say what we want to be served here. We want the source folder to be served. And let's go ahead and write content base, path.join, dear name, src. Plugins. As I've said, we want Webpack to inject our JS inside our HTML by itself. So let's write new HTML Webpack plugin template path.join dear name src index.html. So we say to Webpack that we want it to inject the index.js inside the index.html file from the source folder. Let's go ahead and run again these commands. npm run Webpack. We've changed where the output should be, from this folder to build folder. And also, by changing the mode of the webpack, now the code has a different look. It is not minified as the last time with no config. npm start. The webpack dev server took everything from source folder, compiled it, and outputted it on our browser. We are on the right path, but since now, we've only added webpack to our project. In the next part, we are going to add React and Babel. See you next time.